This website says it's going to take me 10 months to hit 500k. I think that's whack. Let's do it way before that. So subscribe to the channel and help me out. And while you're down there, follow my Twitter and Instagram. Links are down below. Thanks. Why is everything that we eat and drink literally poison? <laughs> what the if you want to drink Pepsi or Coca-Cola, you're going to have like 90 grams of sugar, which is enough to send you into a diabetes coma, which obviously nobody wants, so they might opt for Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi. Well, newsflash, you're going to be oversaturated with artificial sweeteners like aspartame or sucralose, which are related to other health complications like, oh, I don't know, the, the big C. So then you might be thinking, okay, well, I want to have soda. I'll just drink water. Well, then you have people saying that the tap water has like, you know, aluminum and stuff in it, and there's bad things in the tap water, like forever chemicals and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, it literally seems like no matter what I choose to eat or drink, there's always going to be something bad about it. Now, recently I've been trying to go to the gym more. It's almost summertime and I want to get into excellent shape for the summer. I want to build muscle, but I want to stay lean. I want my upper body to be shaped like a Dorito. I want more Latinas to be sliding into my Instagram DMs is uh, the gist. But I also obviously, hey, I work out for myself, not just for the ladies. It's a great habit. Obviously, it's great for your endorphins, your mental health, physical health. You get the whole thing, you know? Now, one thing that is important in muscle building is protein. protein Protein you can get from a lot of different meats, red meats, white meats like chicken, but you can also get protein in like powders. You can make a protein shake or whatever. But one of my favorite personal ways to get my protein is from this thing called Core Power, a Fairlife Core Power. They're these little milkshakes. It's like chocolate milk or vanilla milk that have 42 grams of complete protein inside of them, which is a steal. Just so you know, that's actually more than you can get from some chicken or steak all in this one little milkshake. So if you haven't had the chance to eat chicken or steak or pork or anything like that throughout the day and you still want to get your protein in, these are actually super helpful. Or at least I thought they were. These, oh my God, it breaks my heart. I thought these were it, man. I really thought these were like, oh my God, you know, like the savior of bodybuilding and working out until today. Because I've realized that these Core Power Elite Chocolate Protein Milkshakes are filled to the brim with microplastics. Now, I don't even know where to start on microplastics. Microplastics are literally in everything now. I could do an entire rant on like microplastics plastics, seed oils, synthetic dyes like Red 40, artificial sweeteners, like like <laughs> all these endocrine disruptors that are in everything we eat, you know? I went down a rabbit hole for a while where I was just seeing everything that has some sort of thing that reduces testosterone in men. And it's it's like almost everything you touch. It's not even just like foods and things you consume, but it's also in like things that you wear. Like some boxers that men wear with like uh, synthetic fabrics like polyester can reduce testosterone and kill sperm, which is like so fucking crazy. I didn't even like, I, I didn't even know. So cotton boxers, yeah, you, you got to wear them. You got to avoid microplastics and all the endocrine disruptors the best you can. But it turns out these things, which are actually really good for bodybuilding are actually not good. So I saw this thing and it, it broke my heart. It really did. Cause I used to pick up cases of these things from Costco and I can't anymore. I got to switch to something else like muscle milk, which don't taste as good, but you know, I, I, I can't be having these microplastics. A consumer report study shows the phthalate content in common grocery store foods. I don't know how you say this. Is it phthalates or or phthalates. I'm just gonna say phthalates. Phthalates are potent endocrine disruptors linked to low testosterone, infertility, heart disease, and what topped the list by a huge margin? Fair Life Core Power Protein Shakes. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. I, I can't, I can't, dude. Everything we eat is literally poison. Everything we drink is poison. Everything, dude. Even things that you think are microplastic free because they're in a metal can, there's a plastic lining in the metal can that seeps, seeps microplastic into whatever you're drinking. It's so rigged, it's unbelievable. Anyway, dude, check out this chart, dude. Horrible, depressing chart of phthalate content in common foods. At the top, we have Fair Life Core Power high protein milkshake chocolate plastic total phthalates per serving nanograms 20,000 nanograms now I, I don't know the nanograms to grams or, or milligrams thing if you're having like one of these a day it's gonna add up okay and as you saw earlier these things are linked to low testosterone infertility and heart disease bro I think the low testosterone is the worst because these are being consumed by the gym bros that are trying to do the fucking opposite of low testosterone they're trying to get a shredded body be in shape be a warrior a Spartan you know one one of the killers that they see in the Sigma edits. And unfortunately, this whole time, their best friend, their their sidekick, the Fairlife Core Power Protein Milkshake was a fucking traitor. <laughs> 
To help figure out the scope of the problem, Consumer Reports tested a wide range of food items in a variety of packaging. Specifically, we tested 85 foods, analyzing two or three samples of each. We looked for common bisphenols and phthalates, as well as some chemicals that are used to replace them. We included prepared meals, fruits and vegetables, milk and other dairy products, baby food, fast food, meat and seafood, all packaged in cans, pouches, foil, or other material. The news on BPA and other bisphenols was somewhat reassuring. While we detected that in 79% of the tested samples, levels were notably lower than we last tested them in 2009, suggesting that we are moving in the right direction suggesting that we are moving in the right direction for bisphenols, says Consumer Reports Rogers, but there wasn't any good news on phthalates. We found them in all but one food, polar raspberry lime seltzer, and levels were much higher than bisphenols. Determining an acceptable level for these chemicals in food is tricky. Regulators in the US, Europe have set thresholds for only bisphenol A, BPA, and a few phthalates. None of the foods Consumer Reports tested had amounts exceeding those limits, but many of these thresholds do not reflect the most current scientific knowledge and may not protect against all the potential health effects says Tundre says this dude, the Consumer Reports scientist who oversaw Consumer Reports tests. We don't feel comfortable saying these levels are okay, he says. They're not. So you literally have scientists, scientists telling you that these are not okay. And the reason the government isn't doing anything about the limits in United States or Europe, why do you think? Because of how much fucking money these companies are making. They are making so much money off of the products that they're selling and how they're doing it currently, where it's quite literally poisoning the consumer. And it's probably, you know, for a lot of these companies, grossing tens of millions, if not billions, of dollars annually, which can be enough to actually move the GDPs of certain countries and, you know, play a big role into the economy. So the government's not going to do shit. I mean, if it's making people money and it's growing the economy, the government is, is hesitant to step in and actually do something to protect consumers. When you quite literally have scientists that are saying, hey, we don't feel comfortable saying these levels are okay. They're not. These levels of phthalates and bisphenols are not okay in what you're consuming. This isn't even some conspiracy theory anymore. This is consumer reports. This isn't like Infowars.com where Alex Jones is saying, the water's making us gay or whatever. These are literal scientists telling us, hey, the amount of plastics and, and microplastics in the things that you're drinking is actually not okay. It's, it's going to have negative health effects. And by that, the writing on the wall is low testosterone, okay? It, it's literally going to kill your tea. Please, for the love of God, I'm begging you, avoid this crap if you can. Get a, an alternative like muscle milk or something in cardboard or anything with like lower phthalate levels. This is so bad. Like why risk it, okay? It, it's just not worth it. I used to drink these a lot too, and I'm a little fucking sad about that now. For example, one of the most well-studied phthalates is called DEHP. Studies have linked it to insulin resistance, high blood pressure, reproductive issues, early menopause, and other concerns at levels well below the limits set by American and European regulators. It was the most common phthalate that we found in our tests, with more than half of the products we tested having levels above what research has linked to health problems. We, 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 we need to regulate this shit. This is just not okay. Look at this, 20,000 phthalates per serving in nanograms. I mean, I know, I, I just... I, Look, and, and this, this is 20,000 for a Fairlife thing. Dude, look at, look at this in fast food. Wendy's crispy chicken nuggets, almost 34,000, okay? I am sick and tired of this in everything. Please get rid of it. We live in a modern world with modern technology and science. There's absolutely going to be ways to get this shit out of our food and drinks. I know it's probably going to raise the cost and it might make some CEOs and corporate hacks, some suits and ties pretty angry about their margins for Q4. But unfortunately, I happen to care more about the people of this country and their well-being considering the fact that all of us are overweight, all of us are out of shape, we're all fat, lazy retards, and I want the the government to step in and, you know, maybe maybe make it a little bit harder for us to become zombies with fucked up hormone levels and endocrine disruptors through our systems at all times. So yeah, I mean, I saw this today. It really did break my heart. And um, this made me this made me really mad. Um, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. If you guys like videos like this, then uh, let me know down in the comments below. But this stuff really broke my heart, man. Just to eat chicken, I guess, or uh, steak. No more fair life. All right, see ya.